Hello butterflies, welcome, welcome. This was a incredible, as always, daily tarot reading. And within this reading today, what we're focusing on is paths. I felt really called to think about paths and what it means for many to navigate in going through crossroads and the difficulty and emotional toll that can take when you're at a crossroad that you know you need to take. And so, the starting cards that came up here, we, through this reading, will look at a series of optimal self, we'll look at the things in the past here that were coming up, and also where you are going with your new future and new path if you decide to trust the guides. And so one of the oracle cards that came up was Optimal Self. And so it reads, dense energies must be left behind in order for you to align with higher frequencies. This can be really difficult. It can feel like you are just completely uprooting yourself as you move into this new grid and new path, but it is much, much needed for you to get to that new level and also for you to truly tap into what is your higher self, higher vibrations. Dense energies can be very alluring and for many light workers, it could feel as if this is where you need to be because you see this is a place where you can be the most helpful, but sometimes it's not for you to do that work. And the guides are really asking you to leave those dense energies behind so that you can align with those higher frequencies. We're also showing that within this reading, there are some very strong past energies of potential control or where you had to take the reins because you were taking on too much work. There was too much put on you. A lot of you felt like there was a burden from your past that you needed to walk away from. So you took things into your own hands. You trusted the guides. You've been leaving behind those dense energies. And then with this, I'm seeing that on the horizon for you on this new path. There are a lot of celebrations and potentially some new inspirations with love, with passion, with creativity, with willpower. The Queen of Wands is strong and showing that there's a brighter horizon for you if you trust the guides and continuing on this path. And a big message from this reading is to know where you want to go. You can have energies that will come in at any time. But if you're uncertain of where you want to go, those energies will knock you right off. Whether it be people, whether it be decisions you need to make professionally, whether it be things spiritually, the choices you make, how you eat, how you live your life. If you don't have certainty on where you want to go, then it will be very difficult for you to understand and follow through with the path that the guides are leading you on. So butterflies, I hope you enjoy today's reading. Um, there's a lot in there that you will take away and enjoy. So I will see you soon and see you over in your full reading. All right, butterflies, see you soon. Welcome to Monique's Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading. Welcome, welcome. Just to get started with today's reading, I want to burn a bit of Palo Santo and welcome you all here. Welcome to those new faces. Welcome back to those familiar faces. As always, you can like this video, subscribe, and support this channel by listening to the podcast, or you can donate and support this channel's growth within the link below. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend for those of you returning. For those of you, maybe you're listening to this midweek. I hope all of your days have been incredible so far. Okay. To start things off, I'm just going to talk about 
some scrying or crystal ball reading that I did just to center our energies coming into today's meditation and tarot reading. So I do have a crystal ball reading out there for some of you that are interested in that. Um, that was recently done so you can kind of see my process and method. But for the messages that came through, right now what I'm seeing for some of you is there is a bridge that is building right now. The guides are building a bridge for you. And for some of you, you are in between some choices, which is what really motivated me to create today's daily reading. Because there are so many crossroads that the energy seems to kind of be guiding us into where we're making some choices where we can't just be in and out but we really have to make some choices on the direction that we see our lives moving into so with this bridge i saw that it was steady and well established this was also a bridge that was very well supported by community there was a very deep grid around it I also saw along the path of this bridge, there was a surge of energy that was pouring down into the bridge from above. And also there was a certain protection against this luring and elusive dark matter that was on top of the bridge. So with that, there was a lot on the horizon there indicating many of you are going into this new path, but there's protection. And the guides are awaiting for you to trust them. I almost saw within this actual crystal reading that the crystal was smiling in a way, almost saying, if you trust us, then there will be great protection on your path. Okay, butterflies, let's get into your daily tarot reading. Let's get into your daily tarot reading. Oh, but before we do that, let's actually start off with some oracle cards here. I think what's beautiful about the meditation before getting into your reading was just the pouring of energy really did stand out. The pouring of energy was so prominent from the top down where it just provided this opening. I see that for some of you, you're moving and coming out of a time, but also like there's still some, some grudge and some sludge that's up ahead, but it's almost like this bridge is guarding you from it. And the path that you're on cannot be shaken um, because of the protection that the guides have. So for those of you that, that can help and support during this time, May it serve you. Okay, let's get into an oracle card here. To understand the messages that the guides have for us today, butterflies. Okay. Sacred prayer. All you must do is ask, call upon the ascended masters for guidance. And then here at the bottom, what's showing itself, we have the path. Despite your doubt, your path is clear. We also have dense energies must be left behind in order for you to align with higher frequencies and then expansive growth. You are experiencing an infinite loop of expansion. So these two here in the middle, the path, despite your doubt, your path is clear. I sense some of you are doubting yourself. You're doubting this opening that has been made and whether you should actually fully step into it. But the guides are saying here that it's necessary. There are some dense energies that many of you are leaving behind and you must do that so that you can align with higher frequencies. That's tough, that's difficult, and it requires expansion. But within expansive growth, you're experiencing 
these infinite messages. Some of you may be experiencing some downloads for the first time, which are giving you insights into how your future may be. Some of you may even be experiencing peaks of what your future could look like. And if you find yourself in a moment of doubt or discouragement, ask the guides for prayer. They are there to help you. They are there to help you align. And it says here, all you must do is ask call upon them for guidance so yes yes there is difficulty in moving through this path but as i mentioned within the pre-meditation there's also great support that the guides are providing and it's showing here as tough as it is it's necessary you have to leave those dense energies behind and if you're having trouble leaving those dense energies you have to ask yourself why are you having difficulty leaving those dense energies? What do they fulfill in you? What gaps are you relying on these dense energies to fill instead of just filling yourself with light? Okay. Let's continue to shuffle here. Insights into this daily tarot reading. Insights into this daily tarot reading for those seeking to identify the path ahead. are very stiff today. Insights into the path ahead. Okay, so I'm actually being called by the guides to do two paths. A path of if you were to follow your flesh and a path of if you were to follow the spirits. versus a con. And so let's get into this here. The pros of the path ahead versus the cons of the path ahead. So I can see that for some of you, you have come out of some emotional drainage. You've come out of a time where your emotions were just kind of at their wit's end. You've tried everything you could do to possibly make a particular relationship work or love work, and it just did not serve you. I see that some of you definitely walked away from a situation of the past, and that has put you on this new path that the guides are asking you to step into. I'm also seeing here that um, there's the Four of Swords, and the Four of Swords is definitely indicating that a lot of you are up at night. You're spending a lot of time thinking and processing where you should go and how you should move through these new emotions that you're having to put on. You're working to literally refill yourself. Some of you may be looking to rejuvenate yourself in many ways after this time of kind of stepping away from a lot of shambles and disappointments. I'm also seeing that many of you, because of these issues that happened within the past, you've worked to take the reins or you may be coming from a situation that was very controlling. 
And although you've walked away into this new path, or some of you may still be in this and working to decide if you should walk away from this path, it has you up at night. I'm seeing here in the past, there was an energy around you of smugness with the King of Pentacles, perhaps someone that was a bit controlling with money. And also, um, this could indicate that for some of you, you had some financial troubles in the past that you're working to walk away from, I'm guessing due to an emotional situation. And within this, coming over into the positives of going into this path and where things are taking you, with the Three of Wands, I see that there are some plans that you were making in the past. And I can also see that there are some difficulties in making those things actually come up to fruition because of kind of this Four of Swords, thinking about all the decisions that you made and whether you made the right choice. But showing that this was the right choice, there was a cycle that needed to end and it needed to happen. And it's also showing that you have some celebrations here coming your way. These celebrations are definitely indicative of the hard work that you've done. I see some of you are definitely within a period of observing your good work. You're in a period of observing the abundance and items within your life that are going well. Okay. I'm also seeing here that there was some conflict for some of you within the past that you are walking away from. There's some conflict though that also seems to be very present. So there's still some things that you will be moving through, discussing, talking through with individuals, because on the back here we have the Two of Swords. So some of you are definitely wondering if the conflict is worth staying in. You're wondering if you should move through this choice on your own or whether you should move through this choice with a battle. I'm sensing that some of you are preparing for a potential battle. But the guides are showing that there's this Empress energy around you where although you're considering these things, you're not actually acting on them. You're staying more in groundedness. You're staying more in your spirituality. You're thinking about what you can give. You're staying within the gentleness of your spirit. And also here with the Page of Wands, there is a small note of passion that's coming your way. Some of you may be rediscovering your passions, or there could be a new love that's coming your way, maybe an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy that's creating a type of new spark. Someone who maybe isn't quite a love yet, but could be a friend or someone that's just within your circle that is indicating some interest. I'm also seeing here that the sun is on the horizon. So there's definitely some celebration that's coming up here if you continue to stay on this path. And then also in the back here, I'm seeing that there were some sharp communications in the past, some conflict potentially that may have happened and it's put you in this space where you're really digging into that Four of Swords energy, trying to figure out what you should do and how you should navigate it. And some of you have lost some hope with this new path. Um, going back to the original Oracle cards, it's saying that dense energies must be left behind in order for you to align with higher frequencies. So there's definitely some dense energy that has you all questioning yourself on whether you should um, continue to hang on or let go of it. I'm hearing that the guides here are really saying to let go of this, but we're gonna get some clarifiers and understand why they're taking you away from this path. Insight into the Ace of Cups. Insight into the Ace of Cups. Insight into the Ace of Cups. For past energies. Insight into the Ace of Cups for past energies. Inside into the Ace of Cups for past energies. Okay. Yes, I see that some of you have been needing to make a choice. Uh, the Two of Pentacles here is definitely showing that you all have been at a crossroads. Um, 
within love. There was something that started and it looks like it was really just getting started, but there was something unfortunate and unexpected that happened that has you shifting into a new path. And with the new beginning, that can be hard to let go of. I'm also seeing here that there was a King of Pentacles in the past. So it could be a masculine energy, also could be potentially Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energies, where someone was given an offer. The Knight of Pentacles, my apologies, they were given an offer. And this offer that was shifted out to you, it was kind of for their own benefit is what I'm gathering. It didn't have your best interest in mind. And the Four of Swords, although many of you are in your head, it's showing that this is the best thing for you. It definitely needs to happen. Uh, this is a cycle that was to happen. It was almost like this was inevitable. Um, and I can see that this controlling energy from the past path, uh, you were taking on too much. Some of you definitely maybe were taking on too much emotional burden. You were being um, overutilized with your emotions, overutilized with your passion. Um, if this is not a emotional thing for some of you, if some of you are emotionally fulfilled within your relationships, it could be work-wise. Maybe you're taking on too much. You've been putting in too much work, but I'm definitely gathering that there's some type of emotional or relationship tie here. Okay, what's coming out here for the world is the star. So although this was a cycle that did need to end, there's a lot of hope. I see that a lot of you are hoping and waiting and just wanting the best opportunities to come your way. And they're on their way. You are definitely coming into a space where your wishes will be fulfilled. So be patient, butterflies, and allowing it to happen. Inside into the Three of Wands. Inside into the Three of Wands. Okay, what's coming up is the Page of Cups, also followed by the King of Wands energy. So with this Page of Cups here, you're making some plans um, from the past, but there should be a small creative message that's coming your way. Perhaps some of you are working on some ideas because you also have this King of Wands energy, which shows that you're mapping things out and there also could potentially be um, some passion that's coming your way. Someone that maybe is not as stable emotionally. Um, the King of Wands is kind of like the player cup card sometimes and um, I see here also the five of one uh, cups sorry I can't talk today <laughs> the five of cups I wonder why um, my words are so choppy today but with this five of cups it's showing that there was some emotional um, past some things that left you empty it's almost it almost seems like this king of wands is from the past and is bringing some emotional baggage back so that may be why some of you feel like okay this two of pentacles here there's going to be a choice that's coming up where you have to decide so you're not fully out of the path here with the king of pentacles we're also seeing the queen of pentacles so that actually shows that there's a match here, um, soulmates here. Soulmates of the same suit. Soulmates of the same suit here. So there's definitely someone from the past that is coming in, but what is really sticking out is this dense energy. I'm picking up that this King of Pentacles had very dense energy and they may have been a little bit of a player here with the Five of Cups and they weren't valuing your worth, unfortunately. And the Queen of Pentacles, I believe for many, this is you. This is where you are. You're sitting within your finances. You have strong stability. You have strong structure. You know where you want to go. You're harvesting fruit. You're not within the smugness you're about fairness with financials and there's a playfulness here 
um, with the Queen of Pentacles. And although she is stern and although she is focused because she is understanding her finances, she's growing fruits around her. Okay, insight into the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups. So there is some emotional fulfillment on your way with the Queen of Cups. There's definitely some emotional fulfillment on your way. There's some playfulness. Uh, the Queen of Cups is also about just the possibilities of love, possibilities of recovery. I think some of you are working hard and you need some, some love in your life and that is coming your way. Okay, insight into the Three of Cups. What's wanting to show itself is the Queen of Wands. So lots of celebration here and then some good passion that's coming your way. For some of you, it may be a Queen of Wands type energy that is coming your way, uh, that's coming through and bringing a passionate note I'm almost picking up there actually might be a friend for some of you someone that's within your circle that could bring some passionate notes of love and care your way okay butterflies the cards are closing themselves out so with that we'll do one last oracle card here spent some time working to understand and digest the situation and there is a call to initiate action for yourself you have to initiate this you have to initiate the path it doesn't always mean that there's a communication that's needed but as noted here sacred prayer all you must do is ask call upon the ascended masters for guidance so that could be as easy as saying to the guides, I am ready to accept this new path in my life. I don't fully understand everything. I don't fully feel prepared, but I am welcoming the guides to provide an openness to this path ahead. Despite your doubt, your path is clear. The guides are showing you very clearly that this is for you. And for many of you, you may already know and sense that you know you need to take this path. But I, I sense that with these dense energies here, it's giving you some difficulty. And the guides are saying you need to rest. Rest those eyes, take some time for yourself. Get out of your head, move your body if you need to, but you have to initiate this period because there's expansive growth on the way. You're experiencing an infinite loop of expansion. So there is a big opportunity that's on the way if you open yourself up to it. And if those past energies come in, let them come in, but allow yourself the ability to have the strength to know where they fall into your path doesn't mean you have to be rude to people, but it definitely means that if they come in, know where you're going. Because if you don't know where you're going, you'll be easily swayed. And there are so many good energies within this reading that are showcasing that there are new loves, new emotional fulfillment on the horizon. There might be a glimmer of some past communications coming in, but what happened here was showing that you were overburdened, you were taking on too much, and you walked away from things that were not serving you well. The offerings were falling short, is what I'm gathering. 
someone was giving something, this was an in and out kind of situation, and they were offering you too little for what you actually needed to be emotionally fulfilled. And so you made a choice and a decision, and you have made the right choice in trusting your intuition and moving on to this path. So tap into that sacred prayer today, butterflies. Let it help you, let the guides assist you. Okay, with that, we're just gonna close things out within this daily reading and burning a bit of Palo Santo. I hope that this message served you all. As always, you can donate to this channel, subscribe, like, and as always, on the weekends, listen to the podcast on your favorite podcast platform. It's always fun to meet you all there. And thank you for welcoming me into your homes as always, wherever you are. All right, butterflies, have a wonderful day and I will see you later. Bye.